Hey God, what you doing? You on Twitter again? Yep. It's like watching a train wreck in slow motion. Politics is getting pretty crazy, huh? I know, right? It didn't always seem this way. Remember back when we were kids? Only... Oh, around infinity years ago? Dad, we got a problem. Ugh, damn it, Jeffrey, what now? Times were so simple back then. I don't know. Maybe it's good people are getting more involved, more passionate. Ugh. You know, God, there's an awful lot of people who invoke your name to justify their political opinions, which kind of removes critical thinking from the process, as long as it aligns with their idea of God, or what they've been told about God, then they think they're right, which is, of course, pretty exploitable and dangerous. It's sort of like putting an exemption in your computer that allows a virus to bypass your antivirus software. And what do you think we should do about that? What if we took that political compass test online and find out once and for all where you stand? Eh, I guess we could do that. Okay, question one. If economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporations. Agree. I'd always support my country, whether it was right or wrong. Disagree. Our race has many superior qualities compared with other races. Holy shit, did they really just go there? And they just slammed their little disagree and agree options up there no different than all the others? Yeah, this one's pretty dicey, huh? You're damn right it is. Where are all the other options? Other options? Jeffrey. My race is supreme being. Superior qualities is in the me damn title. Am I better than you? You better me damn believe I'm better than you. Literally. You have to believe I'm better than you or I'll barbecue your ass. Not only am I better than you, but I'm better than anyone who has ever lived or ever will live, I'm so me damn superior that you people ultimately exist for the sole purpose of worshipping me forever. So you best believe my race has many superior qualities compared with other races. I am Bitch. No one chooses his or her country of birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. Strongly agreed. Pride is, after all, a deadly thing, Jeffrey. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Agreed. But, God, doctrine like that has facilitated the rise of Islamic terrorism. True, but who are they killing in the name of? You? Huh, you're right, Jeffrey. I should not agree. Glad to hear it. I should strongly agree. Oh my god. Next. Military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. Oh, hell yeah. Strongly agree. Remember when I had Samuel genocide the Amalekites? Uh-huh. Damn good time. Oh, oh, or when I ordered the taking of slaves and plunder? Which time? Oh, what about the time I demanded people slaughtered for believing in the wrong religions? Yeah, that was pretty- oh, re remember when I had all the men, women, and children of the Midianites killed? Oh, except for the virgins, who were to be divided up with all the plunder. Don't remind me. Well, well actually, not all the virgins. I, I did have some of them sacrificed to me, after all. Oh, speaking of killing women, uh, remember when I commanded a mass killing of all the women, children, elderly, and animals in Jericho? That was epic! Oh, and, and Just I have relax, we're Ebron gonna be here a while. Because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulation. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> none of that matters. The world is gonna end any minute, so who cares? JC is gonna return and everything will be copacetic. But... In the meantime, maybe it might be a good idea to take care of the environment so that- Jeffrey, 
I flooded the entire me damn earth and killed every living thing, except for one boatload of animals. Go to work every day in a coal rolling truck with Siberian tiger upholstery pulling a dumpster full of burning plastic and dirty diapers for all I care. Abortion, when the woman's life is not threatened, should always be illegal. Abortion should never be illegal, period. In fact, I want mandatory abortions. What? Yeah. Like back when I told priests how to make a woman miscarry if a husband suspected her of being unfaithful and got jealous. So all that sanctity of life and protecting the unborn and stuff goes right out the window if she cheated? Not only that, but I've personally caused women to miscarry. Hell, I've even dashed infants to pieces and ripped open their pregnant mothers. Boy, you must be getting really tired of evangelicals smearing you as pro-life. You're damn right I am. Still, I mean, you're at least against late-term abortion, right? Jeffrey, I killed nursing babies. It doesn't get any more late-term than that. That's like... That's like fourth trimester or something. Okay, um, let's move on, please. I'm getting really nervous thinking about you butchering babies. <clears throat> Next one, um, all authority should be questioned. Okay, never mind, never mind. Let's skip this one. just happened? We died. This is the after after life. Okay, I I guess we'll just pick up where we left off. Um, people with serious inheritable disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce. Agree. Remember, I would not even let handicapped people, inherited or otherwise, make me offerings. It would simplify matters if I just gave them the old ripping open of the pregnant mother's treatment. Ah, the good old days. Everyone is so PC nowadays. Can't even rip open a pregnant mother without the fedoras tweeting at me. Um, a significant advantage of a one-party state is that it avoids all the arguments that delay progress in a democratic political system. We'll just put you down for strongly agree. Um, and the death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. Strongly disagree. Really? Yes. It should also be an option for the most minor crimes, along with a side of eternal torture. God. Sin is sin, Jeffrey. It is important that my child's school instills religious values. Oh, hell yeah, it's important. Getting them to agree to worship me forever is way harder if you try to indoctrinate them after they can think critically. What goes on in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. Now, I want to put the ladies' minds at ease. You see, because I'm omnipresent and omniscient, my eyeballs are already basically inside your vagina. So I can see everything that goes on in that sin hole. 
When Onan pulled out and splooged all over the ground, I had front row tickets to that show. Uh, ew. Um, these days, openness about sex has gone too far. Agreed. Okay, where do I stand? Wait a minute, that can't be right! Why? What's the problem? Oh, I see. You're just looking at it from the wrong perspective. 